All right, guys, here we are back in KSP2, this time on the Mun. And as you can see, I've already put two landers on the surface of it. Currently missing one more of this lander type in order to establish our new Stargate station. Why Stargate station? Well, let's find out. So this is the lander we're gonna use for our landing on the surface of the Mun. Nothing special, it has room for nine kerbals while containing a few antennas, some solar panels and those helper engines just to get our on-point landing right. Its total mass is about 11 tons in contrast to the 250 tons of the entire rocket which will bring us to the Mun. With a delta V of 7,000 meters per second, we have way more fuel than we actually need for the landing. You know, just for the case we make some mistakes. Last but not least, the launch pad. So here we are at the launch site again, this time during the night. We have two passengers on board, Desiree Kerman and our famous Bill Kerman. So let's make this flight safely, put our altimeter to sea level, power down to 85%, and as usual we need to head for 90 degrees towards east. Let's start the countdown. Oh. Lift off of our lander, going onto a mission towards the Mun with our two passengers on board. And here we can already see our target right above us. And we are about to reach 2,000 meters, so let's just start the gravity turn, just like this, good so far. And we try to aim for an altitude just above 70,000 meters above the atmosphere. And here we can see the sky bus, which is still parking on the little island which we visited in our last video. And we are about to decouple, so here we go. Fairing is still buggy, but worked better than the last times. Throttle up a little bit, since we are about to reach space. As you can see that their heads are moving to the right. Sorry about any neck pain. And once again, we are about to decouple. A little collision with the fairing. Some of the fairings are working better, some of them are not. Well, let's just hope for the next patches. Align us to the horizon. The poodle engines are weak. That's not a problem, it just takes a little bit more time. But now it's even more important to keep our nose up. The velocity will change later during our flight. And here our sun rises. And the upper apsis is above 70,000 meters. Lower our nose a little bit. Our astronauts are a little bit relieved from the neck pain now. Now we're actually building up the periapsis. Slow down a little bit. Out of the atmosphere, throttle down. We now have a stable orbit around our home planet. Let's just go to the tracking station. Please create a maneuver. Get us out of here once again. Let's just see. Oh, let's get a little bit slower. Reach the path of our man. There it is. We try to aim for a periapsis about 50,000 meters. This should be fine. I'll buy that. So let's just see where our target is. Bring this boy into motion. Already aiming right for the Mun. So let's just fast forward to the next point of action. And here we are, quite a long burn for two and a half minutes. Here we go. Let's just align ourselves during the acceleration and there rises the moon once again. And our upper apsis gets higher and higher, that's good. And we are about to reach our target, slow down a little bit. That's it, put this on engines off. And since I brought more batteries this time for a longer flight, we don't have to disable any systems to save electric charge. Delete the maneuver and enjoy the ride. Fast forward. There goes our home planet. And we are already halfway through. Just a little bit more to go. The man got big quite fast again. And we are about to reach the man's bubble. Enter. And here we are. Time for our next maneuver. Break us hard to achieve our man orbit. Get our apoapsis around 50 kilometers. That's okay. Head for our target again. Fast forward once again.
All right, folks, here we are. Rotate ourselves to work a little bit better. Our burn shall last for 36 seconds. Here we go. And do not get lower than 50 kilometers of altitude. And here's our Stargate station, where we want to land quite shortly. Slow down a little bit and shut off the engines. Delete the maneuver real quick and this orbit will bring us just above our Stargate station. A few more maneuvers during our landing phase to get our heading right. Probably somewhere here. Slow us down for the descent. A little bit more north somewhere around here we need to break several more times during our landing phase keep it like this fast forward and here we are head for our target please here we go once again That looks good. Head for our retrograde, since the alignment is already right. Shut off the engines, delete the maneuver. And the next one, somewhere around here to slow us down a little bit more, which brings us closer to our target, like this. I buy that. Head for our target right now and fast forward to the next maneuver. Here we are, and we can actually already see our station, those few pixels here. And it seems like we are landing in the dark, so that's gonna be an adventure again. Here we go, throttle up. Now you can definitely see it from up here. We're already below 30,000 meters. This looks quite fine. Shut off the engines, delete the maneuver and create the next one to proceed, which gets us even closer. I think that's okay. After the next burn, we will decouple our current stage. And now we finally have an indicator for our vessels down on the surface. 30 kilometers are left and the appearance gets bigger and bigger. Choose one of the landers as a target. Here we go, throttle up. I don't know what's wrong with the periapsis icon, but you know how it is with early access right now. Switch our altimeter to ground. 12 kilometers left, throttle up a little bit more. This takes too much time. I think that's okay. Get rid of our current stage, so let's do that real quick. next poodle engines and try to get our retrograde towards our anti-target. Observe our velocity, we are still quite fast. Maybe let's go below 100 meters per second. And there's our last stage, which should crash on the surface in a couple of seconds. The last stage crashed down onto the surface. Enough fuel on board, I hope we will not need it. Give a little bit more throttle to adjust our course. So let's put our retrograde back to the target as close as possible for the moment. Wait a little bit longer since our retrograde will move up again as soon as we shut off the engine. Okay, shut off the engines again for a little bit. And now you know why it's called Stargate Station. One of the many Easter eggs which is hopefully usable one day to visit other distant star systems in the future to save some significant flight time. So maybe not a bad investment to put a station around it already. Also fully recommend this spot, especially for landings during the night. Okay, we are about to reach 1000 meters the accelerate once again aim for the landers we get warnings for crashing trajectories of course we need to be a little bit careful since we don't want to destroy everything down there below 500 meters our heading is not right we need to fly more in this direction the gate is quite huge it's about 120 meters high we're getting very close now below 100 meters time to get rid of our current stage try to stabilize ourselves give some more throttle to get the velocity as low as possible that's it and decouple there it goes ignite the helper boosters which are way weaker down the gears oh unfortunately one of the landers fell okay but maybe we can lift it up later hopefully i want to land on this side Small changes, keep it cool. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, it's just a shame that it fell down. Oh, but you know, that's KSP. Close enough. That's really close enough. I mean, come on. Put this down safely. More throttle, more throttle, more throttle. Shut off the engines. And we are down on our Stargate station. Oh, sh Okay, guys, it's one thing to have one broken lander, but all of our kerbals seem to have disappeared. All of them. That's disappointing, but we shouldn't let that discourage us. Let's just raise a flag as it should always be and hope for more success and less bugs in our next mission. So thank you for joining me on this little ride. Hopefully having you on board again here in KSP2. Thanks for watching and take good care of yourself.